the usual everyday traffic on the main highway going up to Israel's most northern town, Kiryat Shimone. But going back two months ago, a road like this would have been empty. When 4,000 Katusha rockets fell on the north of Israel, people didn't travel these roads. Quiet has returned to the forests above Kiryat Shimona. The workers of Karen Kayemet here, who maintain the forests, are also citizens of the north of the country, and they've been visibly affected by the war and the damage to the environment. <laughs> Shimon is a firefighter. He spent his summer battling the blazes that tore through this countryside. Here in the Naftali forest above Kiryat Shimona, 75% of trees were damaged by the Katusha rocket fires. And of those, 50% will have to be removed. Trees that can survive have been marked with orange paint. But many of those trees that can't survive, well, they've already begun to be cut down. I picked this from one of the living shrubs in the forest. You can see the water still running through the stem. In contrast to this, a dead piece of wood from one of the trees here in the forest. The work of the Karen Kame El Israel now in this forest is to come and remove trees like these which are dried throughout. They attract termites, and when termites come, they not only destroy the dried dead trees, but they'll also attack the living trees as well. And that's something Israel can't afford to happen. These forests are crucial for the ecology and the economy, the source of much tourism in the area. As a project coordinator, Shimona received literally hundreds of calls from volunteers across the country keen to help restore the countryside to its beauty. There's no shortage of volunteers. Nevertheless, Karen Kermet says this war has set them back years. The yearly budget for, for, uh, for against fires, especially for the chemicals that we're using to uh, reduce the fires, we spend it all in the, in the first four days of, of the war. We completely uh, had to use it. Nobody thought that the, this uh, war will keep going and we will lose so many trees. One Katusha rocket alone was able to destroy up to thousands of trees at a time. To get a sense of the perspective, we've come here to the Biria forest not far from Safed, where just like other areas across the north of the country, we find an area scarred and barren, void of life. Yosef has been a forest ranger for over 20 years. This summer, he watched many of the trees he planted burn in the fires. In a forest now carpeted with a thick layer of ash, Yosef showed us the worst affected parts of the region. So this is the cause of all the damage. And as Yosef explained, it wasn't only trees affected by the flames. 
ואני לוקח את הג'ריקה, אני יורד אותו מהאוטו, פתאום אני מבחין שיש תנועה מאחוריי. אני מסתכל, אני רואה שועל קטן הולך אחריי, ואתם יודעים, שועלים מפחדים מבני אדם. נתתי לו לשתות מים, מילאתי את הפקק של הג'ריקן במים, נתתי לו לשתות, והוא פשוט התקרב עד כדי לטיפה ושתה מים. זאת אומרת שהוא היה צמא. כנראה מקור המים שהוא היה רגיל לשתות, נעלם, נסתם או משהו קרה בגלל השרפה, והוא פשוט היה, צל... היה צמא למים. The Lebanese border is once again quiet. We looked over into the villages who played host to Hezbollah during the war. We saw smoke rising from among them. The Israeli army is busy destroying the Hezbollah bunkers they were able to locate. And so as the army finishes off its work, back in the forests, Keren Kayemet has only just begun. This war uh, catches us uh, in the middle of the year where we have uh, targets that were set up from early, like continue to build the reservoirs, continuing to plant other trees in different areas, and that's where we set up an emergency campaign. We're talking about 80 million shekel for uh, covering all the damage. Very soon we can start to replant new trees, and slowly, slowly this forest will become again green as it used to be. It will take up to 50 years before these forests are restored. The color of the trees tells the tale of this summer. But Israelis have a strong commitment to their land, and the work to rebuild the forests has already begun.